welcome back to the spider's web and in this video we're going to be carrying on with our Idic beer painting challenge and it's going to be on the Mysterian Overseer this is the next model in the collection to be um, painted so let's get on with it shall we and as I said, I wanted this to look like another alternative um, colour in the um, Iron Man armour. And for this, we're going to be doing black and gold. And the majority is going to be black. There's going to be a few pieces of gold knocking about. So for the base coats for the gold, we're going to be using Balthazar gold which is a nice dark colour as you can see and then we're going to highlight that with auric armour gold which is lovely and bright and pale so let's get cracking shall we let's be doing this first so as I said we want the the main areas that we're going to be doing gold Done in the auric armor. Sorry, not the auric armor gold. The Balthazar gold. Now, there's something I forgot about with this fella, and that is you can actually see his eyes. So, what I'm going to do. After I've done this, I'm going to get some flesh tone out. And get a very thin brush and try and get in there and get his eyes. Um, sort it out. As you know, the past I don't tend to do I'm not very good at doing eyes so what I tend to do is just do the skin tone and then have the eyes in shadow There we go. And that's that. I'm not going to do anything at all on the staff in the gold because um, I'm going to have the staff being black. Um, and the tip of the staff is going to be a different colour altogether. I just realised I've missed a little bit on the wrist armour here. I always do that. Is there anything else? Yeah, let's do here as well. A couple of little pieces on the like armour standing out on the leg. There we are. 
and that I think is going to be it for that one. Now as I said I want to get into the helmet to show the eyes and for that I'm going to look for a flash tone. I'm going to use a pale flash tone. Um, Kisler flash I think will be fine for this job. It's just going to be a very fine um, area. I'm not going to get too much on the brush. Um, we're just using a fine brush for this and it's just a case of just get the paint in there way too much has gone in but what will happen is once we give that a wash hopefully it will pick out the shadows next we're going to be doing exactly the same as we did with the um, black talon which is Abaddon Black. I'm still, I think I'm still using my old one. I don't see much point in opening a new one. I've still got old paint that's still okay to use. We have the Abaddon Black. Are well, you saying that? I don't think I'll be using it for much longer. <laughs> and the fang. Literally more of this than I thought there was. And we'll get that on our palette. So what we've just used there, as I said, is Abaddon Black um, and the fang. I'm just going to mix a little bit of Abaddon Black and the Fang together. Um, I'm not trying to darken down the Fang, I'm trying to brighten up the black. And if you get me drift. And the reason being is that we have highlights that we need to pick out. Now we're not going to be doing um, a great deal of highlights because there's not a great deal we can pick out for this unfortunately but Where we can, we will. There's some areas where we really can um, pick out quite a bit of a highlight and these are the areas we must concentrate on. As you can see, I'm not um, doing every little line on the leg. I'm just doing in between the lines, as it were. Some of the detail actually stands out really well. Others doesn't, unfortunately. So where it doesn't, I'm just doing like a kind of a dry brush technique straight down 
Um, this is just going to pick out any detail. We're going to come back with the fang once again. Um, for the extreme highlights and we may he even go that little bit brighter with the fang um, actually I'm mixing some of the screaming skull with it to make it brighter yet we will see how it looks when we get to that stage but I am actually going all over this to pick out detail with this particular shade that we're using at the moment we're trying to do this kind of like a dry brush technique will come again Oh, it's just to pick out the details so we can see where we're painting things for the highlights themselves. So, obviously, there are going to be some areas where we aren't going to be touching for the highlights. Um, so, I might as well just do a dry brush all over with this. And, uh, that might be better. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing with that. Now, <coughs> while we're waiting for the main body of the model to dry, what I'm going to do is go over here with the fang. Um, I've done this with all the others. I've got to tie them all in together. So that's that bit done for the time being. Um, I'm waiting for that to finish drying because I don't want to do anything too, don't want to go too far with that as yet. We'll move that to one side. Let's have a look at the dark talon or the black talon. I have based it, I've put the basic material on it, I have um, painted it in the um, Steel Legion Drab, which is, I'll put it away, there we are, the Steel Legion Drab. So now what we'll do with this one is we'll get our Screaming Skull. Before I do any of that, I'm just going to put the lid back on my wet palette so it doesn't dry up. And... I'm just going to get a little bit of the Screaming Skull on my small dry brush and in fact I may not do a dry brush, I think I'm Might be a way to show the effect a little better is by dab stippling, stippling the paint on. There we are. So that's that bit done. I'll now get the Rhinox hide and go over the edges oh dear god so said this is Rhinox hide you've seen this paint before there you go now we're just going to go over around the edge of the base with this I 
Okay, so I'll come back again a little later. And redo it. That's that done. And I think by now the um, overseer should be dry. So what we will do is we will come along with our washes. Um, first of all our Agrax Earthshade. I don't have much of this left but there should be enough for what we need to do. For this. Plus I've got another box, another tub of it anyway so I'm not overly fussed. It's just going over all the gold areas and the face. Just to give the gold that depth. So I'm not doing much else on the face at all. I'm just going to dry brush it with this. Sorry, not dry brush it, just wash it with this stuff. And that should be it for the face because you can't really see any detail at all in there. Um, the next thing I'll be doing though will be the helmet. Um, I'm kind of like highlighting the gold parts of the helmet and the black parts on the back of the helmet. There we are. I say not much is happening with the gold on this because I don't want it too overpowering. I may yet do that belt thing in silver. Just a bit of a difference. There you go. That's that bit done. Next what we're going to be doing is... Over well, the rest of it we're going to be using our old favourite of Null Noil. If I know where it is. Is that you? Yes, found you. <laughs> so I want to do null nile over all the black areas. areas of this model done. So that's two lots of washes done and now our third wash as usual is going to be over the um, the fang part of the base or where we've put the fang stuff on the base which is our Drakenhof nightshade which looks remarkably like that. I'm just hoping you can read Try and shade the lights so you can actually read it. And if I just realised I haven't done the areas that I said I was going to do metal, but it doesn't matter, I can do that again. Um, so for this stage, we're just wanting to add in all the um, depth. So if I could just class as a finishing touch more than anything else. Um, doing the pipe work. Um, but we we'll just have to remember to make sure we do it in the next video. Because this one is coming very quickly to its end. 
because now we've got the washers on we can't do anything more until they dry so there we have it for our Asterian Overseer I know one thing we can do before we before we go and that is going back to the um, black talon and using our where are we Agrax Earth Shade Tie it in with the rest of the forces so the base is not looking too bright in comparison. There we are. And I am definitely going to be buying some booster sets for this army because I've really, really enjoyed painting these. So, next video, we're going to be finishing off our um, overseer and then all there is left are these so until next time hope you've enjoyed the video take care god bless and bye for now